It's early in the morning, 6.35 a.m. on this cloudy June 29th, 2023. We're at Mansfield Station on the Northeast Corridor, MBTA Providence Line. Catch a few trains here before I head into town. Who knows what will happen today. But uh, I aim to start and end my day here, getting the action. What I do in the middle, who knows? I'll tell you, the commuter rail business on this system is is back as far as I'm concerned. Crowded trains all over the place. Crowded parking lots. And these creatures of habit are waiting for train 804, a Providence Boston local due in in a few minutes. As the locals would say, business on the T is wicked hard. Well, let me tell you what I think of the Boston accent. It's cool. When you hear that accent, you know you're in a specific territory. A territory of people who hold on to their values and uh, really are not easy about letting outsiders into this midst. In other words, around here, you're a Red Sox fan. If you're a Yankee fan, you're probably going to get banished, shot, or hung. Bad thing up here to be a Yankee fan. That's why I wear my Red Sox garb up here all the time. But I don't wear it because I'm a Yankee fan. I wear it because I am a Red Sox fan. So that's why I always believed that I would fit in nicely up here. And so far in my visit, I feel like I have. At 6.45, here comes train 804. With the usual cab car in the lead, double-decker. It's like he's got a solid train of double-deckers. These trains on the Providence and Wickford Junction line see an enormous business. These double-decker cars that have been built by a variety of builders with power doors, manual doors, and the like. They're big, heavy cars. For a low platform boarding, it's kind of a slow process when you compare it to double-deckers on the Long Island Railroad or New Jersey Transit. Loading much faster because of the predominance of high platforms. I mean, on high platforms, loading these cars is better but low platforms, it's like you're climbing Mount Everest. And you only have end vestibules. You don't have other openings in the car. Just give me one F40 down here, please, please. No, 703, here comes 806. Boston to Wickford Junction, Rhode Island. Seven oh four. This train arriving is eight oh six for Boston. Originates in Wickford Junction. It's a real hot shot. From here, his next stop is Ruggles, Back Bay, and then South Station. There's no Sharon. There are several trains like that that 
go nonstop from here to Ruggles. But in the evening rush hour, oddly enough, they're expressed from Ruggles to Sharon and then Mansfield. And here he goes, as you listen to that Graham White electronic bell working. You can see the switch to the Framingham secondary off to the left here. Alright, 736, we have our first Amtrak 2155 Acela, Boston to Washington, Hi Ho Silver. Somerville section of Boston. Approaching Leechmere. Change here for bus connections. Doors will open on the left. This is the last chance to transfer to Green Line service to Union Square. This is a new Leechmere stop. It's on an elevated structure. The original Leechmere stop was a ground level station and a terminus for the green line on the north end or east end, depending on how you look at it. You'll get some views of the commuter rail and we parallel the lower line most of the way up to Medford Tufts.
Somerville facility and I see a couple of interesting locomotives back there. Wow. Precision painted. Look like Rio Grande engines. coming closest to us, that's the MBTA commuter rails Lowell line. 26 mile trip from Boston to Lowell. Approaching East Somerville. Change here for bus connections. Doors will open on the left. These Green Line stations provide a easy view of Lowell line action as well as the Down Easters. extend this line to Mystic Valley Parkway where you can connect with the lower line at their West Medford station.
Tribune Square. Doors will open on the left. A lot of squares on this line. passenger in this car. It's a two-car train. Medford Tufts is the next and last stop. Next stop, Medford slash Tufts. expert on the trolley car types but I know there are several different varieties of them I think the front one is the oldest type in service on the green line.
Track 683.
one stop up at Magoon Square. So we see that train take off at Tufts. That lead car, I, I'm not sure. That's an old Boeing Vertol car. It was rebuilt by Alstom. I saw the plate on it. Yeah, this is a fun line to ride on. Very nice, especially the way it parallels the railroad. All right, we have a Heath Street bound E train coming. That used to be the line the Arbor Way. Served the Forest Hill Station that was on the old New Haven Railroad, the original Forest Hill Station. shrink wrap trolleys. comes the commuter rail from Lowell, train number 316 headed for North Station. He's moving right along. Amtrak 683 down east or Boston to Brunswick, Maine. Yeah, it got off at Gilman Square. station and wait for a uh, Lowell bound train 317. This Lowell line by the way, right here he comes and he's got a mass dot unit, train 317. out of Boston North Station at 12:10. This lower line is the former Boston and Lowell Railroad originally. Former Boston and Maine Railroad it was their main line from Boston to White River Junction, Vermont. All right, it's 4:57 p.m. We're back at Mansfield, Massachusetts. I took a break from rail fanning after the Green Line extension today. Do a little sightseeing and have a nice lunch at the Bean Town Pub. But Mansfield has been pretty much my base the last couple of days, so I'm going to watch trains here before I head back to New London and my ferry to Long Island. Approaching is train 828 from Wickford Junction, Rhode Island to Boston. anything at this point just want to get a few trains going by before I leave coming out from what looks like a thunderhead developing is train 825 
Boston to Providence. Always hoping for LED lights on these trains, but just don't seem to get them. And you know what LED lights mean, F40s. my own personal opinion, I think our Long Island Railroad double-deckers are far superior than these. They have wider doorways, obviously they're built for high platforms, they load and unload much faster. These type of double-deckers with just the little end vestibules, and with some of these stations having low platforms, it's really tough to get on and off of these things. When they first started delivering these double-deckers, they were very bad on the roadbed. They had to replace a lot of ties on the old Colony Lines routes. Now, I'll take the Long Island's double-deckers any day. Disregarding the sound of the horns. <laughs> Take heed, Penelope, take heed. That sign is there for a reason. Uh, give me a break. Here comes train 827, Boston to Wickford Junction, 524. Makes Ruggles, and then first stop Sharon, and then all stops. I see an F-40 going through here, I think I'm going to have a stroke in disbelief. the rail fans are delighted that I found somebody else to pick on. Uh, turned out to be a decent day. A little humid, but not bad. Haven't had too much rain fall on me on this Boston Nation sojourn. It's been great. Before I leave tonight to head for home, should see three Amtrak trains. 2193, a seller from Boston, New York, 177 close behind, Boston, Washington, and 174. I think he comes from Newport News to Boston. All right, 536 approaching his train, 830, and route from Wickford Junction, Rhode Island to Boston. Train approaching, please remain behind yellow line. Yeah, those warning announcements come in mighty handy.
sky may be clear, but I sure hear a lot of loud thunder. Oh, those things are just beautiful. At the east end of the platform, there's a marker, 204-00. That spot is exactly 204 miles from Grand Central Terminal, New York. All right, at 547, here's the first of our Amtrak trifecta. 2193, a Cell Express from Boston to New York. Please remain behind. Stand back. Our second Amtrak train is 177 and route from Boston to Washington at 558. I can see 174 from Newport News to Boston coming too. Right, 602 approaching is 174 from Newport News, Virginia to Boston. Those two trains had a closing speed of something like 250 miles an hour. Because the speed limit is 125 for those trains through here. would make Mansfield such an exciting place to rail fan and whenever there's an F40 on the MBTA train ah, oh, what a great trip I had up here my personal assessment of the MBTA and their operations because I rode on the trains and their rapid transit trains it's it's rough around the edges there are delays there are breakdowns I was on a couple of trains that had problems and uh, the, the riders seem to take it in stride, mainly because they're used to it. But uh, Philip Eng has his work cut out for him. If there's anyone that can try to improve the system, he can. He was highly thought of on the Long Island Railroad. All right. Great trip to Boston. Boston.